to do, what to do, what to do. I wrote too much stuff in my room, in my room. Is that wonky? I feel like it's wonky, but it's the best I'm gonna get. <laughs> hey, welcome back to my channel. So um, I've just um been on, well, it's been a few hours since I've done it, but um, I've just been Skyping the BBC. Well, like a, a TV company, but it's gonna be on BBC. Basically, I'm gonna be in a BBC programme all about my eyebrow reaction, having the reaction with my eyebrows. Oh my God, you should see all the stuff that's on my bed. I'm kind of like going through bags that have like loads of different parcels and stuff in and I'm putting like in a giveaway prize and in a PR prize. The giveaway prize are things that I've won in a giveaway so I'm going to do a giveaway prize video and the other one is PR stuff so I can do a PR video. But I'm finding like stuff that I bought like when I've bought knickers and stuff and I forgot that I even bought them. This bag smells so nice because I just have a lush product in. Like I can't remember what's in half. Of these bags like how bad is that okay that's all makeup revolution i'm just like taking like a little marker pen and just writing like pr on them i've so I've, oh, why has it gone down there you go so i found clothes that i was meant to return to pre-mark like let's have a look at this this was like this is when i was with beth and hayley so how long ago was this two months ago what 15 oh that's no it's actually even longer than that because oh my god the 17th of the 9th oh my god so i have like a pair of leggings size 10 but i didn't even try these on i know i tried this top on and i wasn't very sure about it so it's got like the little things on it there and then it kind of like a black shirt that has like a little white detail on the bottom. And I'll probably just try this and see whether I can wear it for work. The same for the leggings. But oh my god. Like this is how far behind I am sorting everything out in my bedroom. And doing things for companies as well. Like I'm really far behind. Ah. it's Honestly it's so effing stressful. I also got, which obviously I've never tried. Because it's been tucked away over here. I didn't even know it was here. Um, I picked up the PS My Perfect Colour Perfect Finish Foundation and then I also got the liquid concealer because it really reminded me of the NARS one. So that was £2 and that was £2.50. So let me know if I'm going to do a, like a foundation Friday on this or like a test in the foundation and concealer or a full face of pre-mark again. Like what kind of video do you want to see? I can't believe that. Ah, see the... the um. The bottoms, like the, the leggings aren't even on this receipt, so God knows when I bought them. And these knickers aren't on it as well, which is good because I actually need knickers, so I'm going to take these out of the packet. Like, I've not been able to get into my wardrobe for so long. It's, like, ridiculous. Um. Right. So. I need to go out for tea as well. Like, I don't need to, but, like, obviously I've arranged to go out with Hayley. I'm going to have to, like, message her and see. Let's try and see what's happening. Wherever I go with Hayley tonight, I can't be out really, really late. Like normally we are out to late because we're normally just having like a proper good gossip and a good catch up. But um, there's so much stuff on my bed. Like, when I look at what's on my bed, I think how the fuck did I fit all this where I'm sat now? Like how did it fit here? Like how, just how? I don't get how. Um, I can't really move anything until this video is uploaded. So Vlogmas Day 4 is currently uploading. It's 5 to 5 and it's got like an hour and 25 minutes left. So I don't even know what's going to happen with this video because like I'm hoping that within an hour and 25 minutes I'll be with Hayley. So I don't know what's going to happen with this video. I don't know whether to cancel it. I'm going to try and cancel it because sometimes when you upload a new YouTube video this ring light's blocking my view. Ugh. I don't know if any of any of you have the same situation. Um, if you do YouTube yourself, if you do, do YouTube, if you do do YouTube, let me just slow my voice down for you. Um, then comment down below so I can watch your YouTube and subscribe to you and see what your channels are like as well. I love like supporting news. Um, if you are now Facebook group Bruce's Ladies, I don't mind you sharing your Facebook 
for me Facebook. I don't mind you sharing your YouTube videos on there, but I don't like it to be every single video. So I don't mind it being like once every often. I just don't want my, I don't want that Facebook group to turn into a place where everyone just uploads their content. Um, obviously I put mine in there because it's my Facebook group um, and that's why people go and follow it because it's like a more personal um, up to date, ver like up to date, what's a word, like up to date, what's it called, like interaction with me kind of thing. So, I mean this video is, it is long and it's like quite a funny video. Obviously if you're watching this video now, um, it'll already be up on my channel, it's Vlogmas Day 4 that I've named it and I've been in Glasgow for the weekend. So you get to see like a little bit of my weekend and then I just go ham and I just tell you exactly what I thought about, about Glasgow. Um, I hate this lump on my head by the way, like why? I don't get why I've always had that. Like what is all that about? Um, but yeah, I, I give you some home truths with that. Oh, please go down. An hour and 37 minutes remaining. Just even more now, great. Well done Lucy. Listen. Don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Lindsay, get. Excuse me, hiccups there. The only thing I can do is compress the video, and basically, what you do with this is. I tell you, I thought I was going to burp then. Um, you. Well, it's actually not compress, it's encode, I think. One second. Yeah, so you encode your video, so you do it so it's the same quality, but what it does is it makes the video file smaller, so then when you go to upload it, it's a smaller file, so it uploads quicker, but sometimes the encode and like actually condensing the video um, size down, like as in like the file down, not the actual length of the video, when you're actually encoding that media down, sometimes that can take longer than what it would to upload it. So I've done um I've done that now but it might take longer to do that. It doesn't give you like a time estimate on the encoding as well so you don't really know how long it's gonna take. Oh the video is saying 141 minutes now, 140 yeah. Ah <laughs> so yeah I dunno I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, what to do, what to do. I have too much stuff in my room, in my room. Oh, I wonder where my Carly bag went. Hm. I have my 10p. Woohoo! I'm rich. I wish. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know. Um, I haven't actually been able to get into my makeup drawers for like absolutely ages now so I've been using the same foundation oh my god I've been using the same foundation for so long like oh, Amber's messaging me update inside as speaks out two face inside it finally speaks out on feud of Jeffree Star Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna watch this video. <laughs> I love a bit of goss. Mm. So I'm just putting a Snapchat on. Oh, um, you saw it yesterday if you follow me on Snapchat. If you don't, it's just Lou Stevenson with an X on the end. Oh, the link is always like the link is down below, but I think it might either be my name or a link. I'm not too sure, but my Snapchat is linked down below regardless. Um, oh, so I'm just heading out now. It's like. 25 to 6 so I'm just heading out to go have food with Hayley um, let's turn these lights off I'm going to go pick her up obviously I'm not going to be able to talk to you whilst I'm driving because it's going to be too dark like you can't even see me now whilst I'm talking to you so right let's see if this snapchat's going to send yeah, so you can't really see me, can you? My battery is only on 16% as well, so um, I don't know how much I'm even going to vlog today because I know I haven't really vlogged much. So that BBC thing went really, really well. I think it went well. They said that it went well. Um, it was kind of over and done with very, very quickly. They said like I'd done everything that they wanted me to do anyway. 
Um, so basically just asking, it's going to be on BBC iPlay and basically the asking me questions about when I had the alleged reaction to get my brows done. The only thing is I'm I wasn't allowed to say who um who did my brows so I wasn't allowed to say that it was benefit cosmetics but if you watch my YouTube video which is how the BBC found me is through my YouTube video if you watch my YouTube video you will know all the ins and outs of what happened to the eyebrow disaster thing um and you'll know that it was benefit cosmetics and that it was um What's it called? That it was Benefit Cosmetics and that I was working for them at the time as well. So you know you you know, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> um so yeah, did all that and they just asked me questions just like um how did it feel, what happened, um How long did it take to recover? Do I feel like I'm missing out on getting, I like I'm missing out because I can't get my eyebrows tinted? Which I do feel like I am missing out. Like, I don't know how much they're gonna put in of my stuff into the um, program, if they put any of it in, because I don't actually know what's happening. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. I do feel like I am missing out because so many people can get their eyebrows tinted and I feel like they'd be a lot thicker and fuller. But I don't think it's the end of, I don't feel like absolutely heartbroken, do you know what I mean? Like it would be nice to be able to have that option to get my eyebrows tinted, but it's not the end of the world either to have to put a bit of pomade and brow gel on them, do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that is what basically what they asked me. And they did originally want me to go down to their, um, what's it called, like recording studio in London. But they wanted me to do it on, they wanted me to do it on a, when, on a Tuesday and then I was made sure that I got the Tuesday off work because obviously I've started my new job. So I made sure, made sure that I got the Tuesday off work um, and then they wanted me to change it to Wednesday and I didn't want to mess my job about. I don't know if I've said this in a previous vlog but I don't want to mess my job around um, with it being a new job and it being like a job that I'm, I'm absolutely loving and a job that I would like to keep like, and like to be kept on. Um, if that is a possibility in there because obviously I am only on a contract until April kind of thing so it depends like whether they want to keep me on or not so I didn't want to mess them about like I wanted to show them that I am being serious about this job and I do take this job seriously so I was just like it's not possible for me to to try and get that Wednesday off like I don't want to mess my my company around like I don't want to mess mine around which is like the company that I work for the mental health charity um, and they were really understanding about that. They were really lovely. Um, like the recording, like Wise Budder, who it is that um, I do in the programme with BBC. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to mess them around. So like, so that, like, they understood that I didn't want to mess my new job around. So instead they said to me, well, instead of it being, because they were going to pay for me to go to London and back, and they said instead of it being um, like a long trip for me, and and to make it easier for them as well. Well, I don't think I don't even know if it did make it easier for them because they've had to like record it on Skype and they probably have to do a lot more editing. I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but anyways, to make it easier for me more so, they said, Well, I don't need to Skype it and then they'll like record the Skype. In the end we just FaceTimed and they recorded the FaceTime, so I, like apparently that's what's gonna like that footage is gonna be in the video. But um we shall see like I don't know how much or how little is going to be there in it I don't know what's I don't know how it's going to go I just thought it's a cool opportunity I'm not going to say no to it and I'm really happy that they're doing it because they're helping to raise awareness of like they're doing the program basically from what they've said it sounds like they're doing the program to show like how, like to look at how eyebrows have become just like a massive thing at the moment and to show like the consequences of getting your eyebrows done and that this can happen and that reactions can happen i mean i got my eye if you watch my youtube my youtube video on about the benefit brow reaction you'll see from that video there why is this car in front of me in two lanes absolute moron um, but you'll see in that video that i got my eyebrows done by benefit many many times before that nothing has cha had changed apart from the cooling gel um 
and that's what I think Ariad's allergic reaction to but I also think it was a mixture of all the different things together because um, I've since then I've been I've had like a patch test for two tints from two different businesses and I've had allergic reaction to them do you like where they test it on like the back of your neck or behind your ear or whatever um, I've had two of them now and I've reacted to them I had like a little lump and stuff so yeah I just think it was a mixture of everything together and the wax being too hot I think it was just a mixture of everything and I've just had allergic reaction to it so I don't know I'm happy that they're raising awareness of it and raising awareness of the consequences of getting your eyebrows done um, I still do get my eyebrows done you'll all know this um, ever since I've been after had that reaction with benefit I've not been anywhere to get my eyebrows done apart from Superdrug and they do thread in I don't get a tint Superdrug was one of the places where I reacted to the patch test of the tint as well so it just shows like obviously I must have really sensitive skin so it's nice that they're raising awareness of of like the health risks that can be associated with it and obviously I think it is such a big thing people having reactions I think it is very common not as common as what people might think I mean, probably be more common actually, and it's probably be more common than what people think it is. People having the allergic reactions to getting the brows done. So I don't know. Oh god, I forgot that the traffic's gonna be bad on this little bit. Ugh. I need to stay in this lane as well instead of going in the right lane where everyone's going faster. Because I need to come off in a minute to get to Wilkinson's. I don't know. So yeah, whether that gets put into the video or not is another story. I don't even know when it's happening. If it be before Christmas, after Christmas, when they've done, got all the footage together and made the programme or whatever, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know, I'll keep you updated as I'm updated. <laughs> I'm actually gonna end this vlog here because I think I'm just gonna have a nice night with Hayley. I might, I'll probably be warned, but I might record a little bit when I get home, but I most probably won't, so I'll say bye now, just in case. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, it means the world to me.